we love about golf, and certainly speaking from myself, the thing that I've loved about golf that drove me into, I suppose, golf coaching was discovering things about the golf swing and discovering what it was that all pros are actually trying to do that made them so consistent or makes them so consistent. And generally speaking along the line, then what are amateurs trying to do that makes them kind of less consistent and makes them swing in different ways. And that's what I absolutely love. I love speaking to you know, people in lessons or working with students online and questioning what it is that they know about the golf swing and then changing that narrative and it makes them swing in a different way and it liberates them. And that's, you know, so fundamental for me. And a lot of this is coming from experiences, experiences in terms of um, my knowledge of the golf swing and understanding of golf swing and getting to know people better, but also my own personal experiences. And I went from a six handicap to a plus three handicap um, in a two year cycle. And the reason why that happened was because I was able to play golf more full time. I was having more coaching. I was playing with better golfers. And there are a few things along that journey that have stuck with me forever. Now, where I was a junior member, or I remember in my young sort of teen years or later teen years, I should say, was Shirley Golf Club. And Shirley Golf Club, lovely golf course, and it has lots of dog legs. And what you would have to do is generally be very good with your long irons in positional play. And then that would mean you'd have to be quite good with your sort of mid irons again uh, in positional play or short irons. And that was what my game was, you know, massively built about, was becoming this very sort of steady eddy, getting the ball in play. And one of the things that made such a significant difference to me was having a really basic golf lesson with somebody when I was struggling and they basically just said just imagine that you're shaking hands with the target. Now I've talked about this before on the channel and I think it's so important because so many golfers that I meet online have just overcomplicated the golf swing you know where they're sort of changing wrist positions and they're, they're convincing themselves they're not supposed to use the hands they're supposed to turn and they're contorting yourselves and it's just, it's so far away from where you need to be. What happens in the golf swing is we, we take the club back, okay, we turn up towards the top, we shift our weight progressively towards the lead side, and that gets us, you know, very simply speaking, into this type of position at pre-impact. But what happens from here is a lot of arm rotation, like so, right? My arms massively rotate to square that club face. And that's why I would say to you guys, having this feeling of shaking hands with somebody, right, just in front of you, it would make a massive difference. And the other reason why it makes a massive difference is because if you imagine the person was just to the left of me here, if I am somebody who's focusing very much on spinning and rotating, I can't reach. If I just shift my weight, which moves my pelvis more to the left over towards my lead side, see how much more I can move through and it keeps the right arm moving through. And it's just a much, much easier way to swing a golf club. So don't overcomplicate the swing. Okay, keep it as simple as you possibly can. That's the thing that I love about golf coaching. I love when a student asks a question and I can sort of answer it and I can talk about the specifics if needed, but then we flip it right back to pure simplicity and do simple drills like just, you know, arm release drills or keeping your head back drills. Just simple things that you can then translate from the range to the course. And what I also love is seeing the development of golfers similar to the journey that I've been on. And maybe one day when my kids have grown up a little bit more and I have more time, I'll go back on. But for now, I'm more than happy sharing my experiences with you. And I just think, you know, hit some shots, shake hands, just hold that finished position, see where I am. I've got my weight on my left side. I'm shaking hands. I'm controlling the club face. It'll make a massive difference to you. I'll see you soon.